So currently, what you are watching here is actually one of my most recent intros for my Strides SMP series. And within my intros, I have been using something called Replay Mod to begin cinematic intros. And so today, what I want to help you guys do is learn how to use Replay Mod. So what we are looking at here, once you load into Replay Mod, this is basically what you're going to see. So, of course, let's move up forward. So I think I used this for one of my YouTube shorts a long time ago. Um, and so what we are going to do. So as you can see in the top left, you have your speed. You have um, unpa un unpause, unpause the replay. Play camera path from cursor position. Render camera path. Add position keyframe. Add time keyframe time keyframe and then you have the speed adjuster so here this is just going to basically start and stop everything in the game or what your replay mod is showing this only works if you have um, multiple keyframes and position keyframes you know going through this bar right here so this this top bar right here is your amount of time and then this bottom bar right here is your keyframes and such so let's um so, okay, so what we're going to do, let's turn on shaders. So with the shaders on, what I want to do is that maybe I want, so your W, A, C, and D keys, uh, you want to use these to position your camera around, um, and then your shift and your space bar is going to let you go up and down. So let's try and find the angle that we want. So let's move up a little bit forward. So I'm speaking here in this. And what I'm going to do is that I want to try and position myself a little bit more in the center. So, right there, hit the T, and you want to add a position keyframe and a time keyframe. This is how I do it. Um, there are also plenty of tutorials if you want more in-depth, um, but this is how I do it. So, this gives you your first moment. So this is where it's going to begin to render. So, what we're going to be able to do is hit unpause, unpause the replay. Now, if you want your camera to move you have to move it around right let's say it goes to there let's hit P again to pause the thing and now we do this again so now we have two multiple positions that we are going from so we're going from there to right there and from this angle I'm still keeping my focus on me and on this angle I'm still yet again keeping my focus on me so basically I'm gonna show you what this does real quick what this is gonna do let's play this and what it's going to do is that within the time that it has been given from that first red, from here, we're going to pause it real quick. From this red line here to this red line here is what you're rendering. This is what you're reviewing. Um, so when you hit this button, it will move from each position from where you are. So it just continues here like that until it hits this second red button here or the second position. And then it stops because it has nowhere else to go. Um, if you want a continuous frame, what I do is here, I'm going to hit the letter C on your keyboard and you can hit yes to clear all keyframes. So now everything here is gone. I'm going to go back to the start. Now we're going to reposition myself about the same spot that I started with. And we're going to put this here. And now you just want to run this for as long as you want. This is how I just get my still frames and just kind of stop it again. Add in, add in your frames again, and that, that's basically your still frame. You're not really going to move there much. Um, there isn't really, for me, much that I really go off of. Um, if you do want to do time lapses, what I recommend doing is um, having the huge chunk of time. Um, select a spot that gets everything that you want to see. So we're going to go all the way back to here. Now, what we're, what we're going to do is say I want everything to go by super fast and I want the camera to move around so we're gonna take the speed we're gonna crank it all the way up I usually like to go to about 7.5 7.25 around here instead of the uh, speed of 8 and what we're gonna do is that now this top bar is gonna go by much faster so we're gonna try and keep it towards the center play it a second there we go get our keyframe and now, what is probably preferable, 
um, that you, instead of just going ahead and playing it, we're going to go ahead and move our camera all the way over here. So it gives us some more time. Let's let, let's let it go all the way to the end. Oops. Whoopsie. Whoopsie do. <laughs> so we're going to start from there. Right. And what we want to do is let's say we're going to move to about right here. So we're going to add in more keyframes. We're going to go back to here. I'm going to show you how that looks. So everything's going to move fast. And then the camera also is going to move fast. So that's basically that. Um, so the closer that these keyframes are together, um, the faster your camera will move, the further apart. So if you, okay, so look, let's look at this little yellow line here. So we start from here and now we move to right here. That means that this is going to take about two minutes to get from that position to this position. Um, so if we started right here and we want the guy right here, it's going to take about three seconds to get to that position. Um, so that means the closer that the keyframes are to each other, that means it's going to go by faster. And the further apart that they are, that means that they're going to go by much slower. So if we open this up, here is basically all of your keybinds that you can look over. Um, your J, your, ooh. your J can turn to the right, your K um, goes back, L goes to the right, and you can basically do whatever you'd like with these, um, with the turns, and then just hit K again, and that will reset, um, how this is looking, and then you can adjust it however you may want to. So, you may not know how to start with um, actually recording. So, I'm here on the Strides SMP Season 1, and basically all you have to do is hit Escape to open the menu, and then you have the Start and Resume Recording button. These are going to say, this is where we're going to start. Now, we're, now we are recording. So basically what it does is that it makes, it makes a recording of whatever you're currently recording, and then it goes into a file, and then you can adjust it. So, that is basically what we're doing right now, is that we're currently recording, so you want to hit escape again, and you want to pause it if you need to, and then resume it, also if you need to, and then hit stop. So that basically finishes the recording that you have just made. Now, in the menu, what you have here is that you have the replay viewer. As you can see from the clip that we just had went through, um, we have just recorded this file right here. So if we hit done, now we open the replay viewer, your top one, or the one that you just recorded, will be at the top right here. Um, and then you can load, and then everything I had recently just showed you, that is when you get to open up and change things. So, for the settings, enable notifications, turn those off if you want to have ca uh, casual, you know, no interruption, no extra added stuff to your time lapses. Uh, record the server. Always need that one to be on. Show the chat. Turn that one off. Automatic recording. Turn that one off too. That is my personal opinion. Um, what automatic recording does is that as soon as you load into the world, it will begin to record with replay mod. Um, so if you don't want unnecessary um, replay mod recordings, make sure that you have this one off first. And then, of course, there you go. That's basically odd. All odd. <laughs> all that you need for these replay mod settings and that is basically just a casual beginner's guide to replay mod if you are looking for more of a, a like a truly cinematic style um i would go check out lance l-a-y-n-c-e he is a filmmaker minecraft filmmaker style minecraft youtuber who uses replay mod a ton he is a huge inspiration to me and i think that he would be much better at explaining it um rather than me so I would definitely go check him out if you're more interested in filmmaking. Um, and he does show you some good ideas on how to use your replay mod for filmmaking. But for me, I'm just showing you guys the simple, casual stuff for how replay mod works. If you have any questions, make sure to leave those in the comments down below, and I will be more than happy to answer all of them. So I hope you enjoyed. If you did find this useful, make sure you subscribe. See you all very, very soon. Bye-bye.